Hello, motherfuckers. Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. Huh? <laughs> Today, we will be reacting to Janet Jackson's <laughs> Unbreakable album. We're so excited about this, okay? Um, this is our Janet Jackson era. We're in our Janet Jackson era. Last week, we did 20 Years Old, and the week before that, we did Demita Joe. Girl, I'm living. I'm actually living. Um, The difference between this album and the last two is this album was nine years after 20 years old. So at this point, it's 29 years old, girl. So I'm excited to see the growth that Janet has um, in this time. But before I get started, please like and subscribe. Um, If you want to reach out to me, here are my um, socials. Um, and I'm just trying to build a little community here, okay? So, please like and subscribe. Liking the video really helps. Um, let's get into this. Okay, the first song is called Unbreakable, the title track to this album. Let's go. I love this production. Oh, girl. Gaga. Okay, girl, already, I'm going to say this album is a lot more con, con, it's a lot more complex than the last two albums. Shout out to those last two albums because I really genuinely had fun listening and um, editing those videos, but this, mm, mm, this is so good. There's a lot more depth to it already and I'm ugh, I love I love this because girl those vocals there were absolutely stunning sickening beautiful outreaching just grabbing you by the cooch and pulling you in girl she had to say something and she said it she's lost a lot in her life in her long life and this long life of ups and downs and greats and lows and, you know, shit like that. But she has this person and their love is unbreakable. Whether it is just, you know, this person. It could be like a friend. You know, somebody that really was there for you when you were really down. You know, that's what I was getting from it. I love that so much. Okay? I really need to make that fire. That was Beautiful, beautiful intro to this album, and I'm ready to keep going because that was a guy. But the next song is called Burn It Up featuring Missy Elliott. Let's go. Okay, um, I have a lot of mixed feelings about this song in particular. I am not the biggest Missy Elliott fan. Um, you know, back in the 90s, or was it the 90s? I don't even know. Or was it the early 2000s? Um, she had a couple bangers, you know, a few bangers, if I'm being honest. But for me, I think she, she lost, something happened. She lost it, like... I don't know, like she just does, she cannot make music no more, I'm sorry. And you know, when she was making those bangers, 
I wasn't really, you know, looking for bars when it came to Missy Elliott. She just knew how to give you a bop, but this just wasn't that. I'm sorry, she lost it. I, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. I really don't. I was really trying to be unbiased, but it just, that, that just wasn't a serve to me. It just wasn't. But the song overall with Janet, yeah, okay, I was, I was getting, you know, I love me some Janet. So it was giving me like um late 90s vibes, like pop party punk vibes, you know, ish. But I think that song is just a chop. <laughs> As of right now, it was like, I was moving to it. I'm not gonna lie, I was moving to it. But I'm here to be honest and be real. And that just wasn't it, okay? Um, but it was a gag at the same time. I don't know. Like, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like iffy about it. It's like weird. But let's keep going. The next song is called Damn Baby. Girl, I'm here for this. Okay, that was a step up from that Missy Elliott song. We're just gonna ignore that for now, okay? Um, girl, that was giving me, okay? That was giving me everything, okay? I loved the um, background vocals, this man. Damn, baby. That was a gag to me, okay? Um, I can hear myself listening to this and like, bopping around to it in the shower and shit. Um, it was a gag. Now, as of right now, I'm not really getting like 2015 vibes, which is, it's a good thing. It's giving me more of like a unique sound. But at the same time there is, especially in that Missy Elliott song, there was like moments of like 2015-ish vibes, okay? Um, but that breakdown in this song, girl, had me rolling. I need more of that. Give me more of that, girl. Um, I'm gagged. <laughs> At the very end of this song, she says, I wish me being happy didn't make you so sad. And that is so deep, okay? Because it's, if, if seeing somebody happy makes you mad or upset, you know, um, what's really the problem, girl? Like, there got to be something deep wrong with inside of you. If you see somebody happy and immediately you think fuck this bitch for being happy that's just so weird to me it's weird and you know what i take that back i definitely could see this song being played in like clubs in the 2015 vibe era 2016 vibe era um for sure for sure but that's what it was it was a dance fun song i absolutely love that so much but then there's like these little lyrics that she hides in there. I wish you, I wish me being happy didn't make you so sad. Like she always gots to give you a message and girl, we love that over here, okay? But let's keep going. The next song is called The Great Forever. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm here. Girl, unbreakable. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Girl. That right now is my favorite song from this album. I'm just gonna be so real right now because it it gives you a lot. It gives you a lot to think about, okay? For me, I think this was giving like a double entendre of sorts. The Great Forever is that heaven, you know, like when you die, it's the great forever. But I think she's also saying that she will be great forever even in her death. She will be great forever because she was speaking about paparazzi and just the media in this song right here and as of right now it's really giving for this theme of the album unbreakable no matter what you do no matter what you say about her no matter what unflattering pictures you post of her she's gonna be unbreakable forever and i absolutely respect that so much because janet jackson she's seen what her brother went through okay michael jackson i already went through my michael jackson era and it was a lot okay there were moments where i just was like wow i cannot believe they like treated this man like that and for her being his brother or for her being her for her him being her, her brother is that right <laughs> for her being his brother something oh <sighs> i think that she seen it up close and personal with that and she's not gonna let these people break her. And I, I'm just obsessed, I really am. I love when artists give themselves flowers, okay? Um, it's just very confident forward. Um, and she did it really beautiful, okay? She always does things beautiful. But we have to talk about these beats, girl. I'm, I'm re it's really giving me what I needed. I love a dynamic beat, first of all, but like these being from 2015, it's like, well, you know, prior to 2015-ish, um, it's really giving me a good vibe. I just love all the beat flips and switches and then, you know, it just all comes back around. It's just so good, okay? But let's keep going. The next song is called Should've Known. Mmm. Okay, so apparently this is a tribute to um, the Orlando sh I'm not sure which one, but I, I'm thinking the Pulse nightclub, wasn't that it? I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but girl, this is nothing new for Janet Jackson. Obviously, RIP to all those people, okay? But Janet Jackson knows how to make a a statement when I started off the video I said I couldn't wait to see her growth this is what I'm talking about right here because it's just like a rhythm nation vibe but in 2015 and about a whole new different topic okay that's just what I'm like pulling the strings what I'm getting from okay um that was beautiful the production was beautiful the vocals were beautiful that is also one of my favorite songs from this album. I'm not gonna lie. A good feel good song, okay? Dedicated to these people that lost their life on some ridiculous BS, okay? So, um, shout out to Janet. We love that, okay? But let's keep going. The next song is called After You Fall. Who's gonna be there 
Okay, um, girl, I was not expecting that, um, in all my years I was not expecting a song like this, just very, very, the, all, all there was was a piano playing in the background. A solid ballad, okay, um, she, the vocals really weren't ugh, crazy, but they were very perfect for that beat, and for Janet, her voice really just spilled over that piano really well um it was really cute and of course the meaning behind the song who's there for you at the end of the day you know when you don't have any money when you don't have a car you know who's still there for you who's still your friend at the end of the day it's not going to be these hollywood elitist and the industry just people like that okay it's going to be People that you've struggled with, okay? I love the thought process behind that song. And at the very end, she says, who will be there for you when you fall? I will. I am obsessed with that because music can take you places. It can pull you in. It can take you out. And when I say take you out, I mean take you out of your depression, out of your anxiety. So if you're listening to music and you're a, you're a Janet Jackson stan, she will be there for you when you fall, you know, with songs like this and, you know, just all her discography, okay? This was a beautiful song, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. But let's keep going. The next song is called Broken Hearts Heal. Like Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a lot. Okay, that was an absolute lot. I'm just in, like, shock out right now, okay? Just because when I realized that she was speaking about Michael, I got the chills sent down my body, okay? Um, oh, my God. Just talking about the little things that they did when they were growing up, you know, um, together, and those very vivid memories that she has growing up, you know, and Michael died in 2009, so she was experiencing all that while she was on this break, okay, from music. Now, that's her brother, and the world was hurt, okay, so I know she was just so sick and twisted, you know, as we all were. But this brings me back to a personal thing. My mom passed away in 2022, um, in September, so the winter, girl, the fall, it was terrible, Your Honor. Like, <laughs> absolute. I, I don't know why I'm laughing because I just try to laugh through the pain. Okay, um, you know, I feel like if you've been through something like this, you cope with it however you can. <laughs> That's just my way of coping. Is just laughing. R.I.P. to these people for sure. My mom, Michael. Shout out to y'all. But when you can create something beautiful out of this pain. And, you know, shit that you're going through is absolutely stunning. Janet Jackson has been through so much, okay? As a black woman in America, and she makes absolute bangers out of this pain and hurt that they give her, okay? Oh my gosh, I just can't 
make it any better, okay? And I love that she's making this song in particular for people like me, okay? I lost my mom in 2022, and I just felt like the world was just, I, you know, it was just, I just wasn't happy, okay? And I didn't want to do what I feel would take me to the next level in life. I just didn't want to do anything, okay? But coming out of that and growing from that, it's, it's solace, okay? And she said it so beautiful here. I, I'm absolutely obsessed with that song. Um, but let's keep going. The next song is called Night. Oh my god. This beat. Mm, the vocals. Okay, um, girl, this corner, like I said, this corner of the album I'm really obsessed with. It's a very, um, reflective or you, when you reflect on something, vibes, um, and I love music like that. I love when people reflect in their music and once again, just make something beautiful out of it. She wants to rejuvenate her energy, rejuvenate her mind, her thoughts, and I it's beautiful because once again, going back to myself, once I came out of that funk of just losing my mom, you know, um, and when I wanted to get back on what I needed to be on, I was so beyond ready. Okay. And I'm a lot happier now. Um, I really am. So it's just, it's very relatable to me. I'm, I love this album so far. I really do and just what she's talking about in this album. It's very um, healing and just spiritual, feel good, okay? Um, so I absolutely am obsessed with that. But let's keep going. The next song is called No Sleep featuring J. Cole. What's actually crazy about this is I have a video for that. That was one of my first ever Janet Jackson reactions um, because before I even went into that video, I was already obsessed with that song. I don't remember where I heard it from or who showed it to me, or if I heard it on the radio, I don't remember where I heard that song, but I remember being obsessed with it when I was younger, and still to this absolute day, I am still obsessed with it. The production on that song is beautiful. Janet and J. Cole work really well with other people, so seeing them come together to make that song, it was really good, really beautiful. I loved that video too. I remember seeing, I remember the video being a bunch of Janet Jacksons and J. Cole's just appearing out of nowhere, out of thin air. Um, and I was really shocked and I, <laughs> I just love that video. I love the concept of it. And I love the song as well. But the production on that song really stands out to me. But it's just the way that this song is placed right after we were just in our feelings, in a little funk, okay? So that's what I really love about Janet Jackson. She knows how to flip the script real fast, okay? First, we're talking about reflecting on passing and stuff. And now we're here getting no sleep because we're getting our ears talked off all night and our private parts ate up <laughs> all night, okay? So um, it's just very interesting, um, the dynamic. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with it nonetheless. I really do love this song. If you want to see the reaction, I'll put a link in the description below. So let's just keep going. The next song is called Dream Maker slash Euphoria. Oh, girl. Oh. Mm. 
god. Okay, that was a short song, but it was beautiful. Okay. Dream Maker. Is this, is she talking about God? Okay, um, I think that's what it was giving here to me. Dream Maker, make my dreams come true. She wants to see a perfect world. She wants to see a happy world. She is a very good soul okay <laughs> i just i can't get enough of it because she goes from albums about bjs and um moist and shit to this and it's just it's so broad thinking you know some people will look at one song that an artist made and that's just them that's the artist okay and that can really put a toll or a hankering on an artist but for me i i can see both worlds for janet and i I, I love that so much because she expresses it so well. She expresses herself so well, okay? And these dreams that she wants to come true. I, I love that, okay? I love what this album is meaning. The unbreakable part is not breaking throughout this album. And I fuck with that. Not to mention those vocals were just giving me everything. Those were a 10 out of 10 vocals to me, okay? Um, she was just chewing chewing okay chewing but let's keep going the next song is called to be loved Okay, coming from the Dream Maker slash Euphoria song, that song fit perfectly right there. Um, I'm really obsessed with what she's talking about, okay? Everybody needs to be loved, whether that is from a partner or a friend or a family member. Everybody needs to feel some sort of love, you know, because when that love drains out of you and you feel like nobody around you loves you, you can turn into a very dark person, okay? So I just love the meanings and shit that she's getting at here. Um, not to mention those melodies right there. It was kind of giving me 2000s a little bit. Um, the very late 2000s, like 2009, 2010-ish, okay? But I love the sound of the song. Actually, it's one of my favorite songs from this album. I'm already saying it right now. But let's keep going. The next song is called Take Me Away. Oh my god. Okay, um, girl. <clears throat> no sleep. You have a fighting chance, maybe, for this, <laughs> for being the favorite song on the album. But this right here, oh my god. That is an absolute hidden gem of a song, okay? Going with everything we've talked about in this video and everything that she's talked about in this album... This song fits so perfectly for this album. Sometimes you just want to feel lifted up and taken away um, from all your troubles and all your fears. And this is one of the perfect songs to listen to when you just want to feel like that. The melodies were very mesmerizing. Um, and I can just see myself listening to that for years to come. I'm not going to lie. That's one of my faves right now.
But she is talking about a man, okay? Some boy came along and, like, stole her heart. And, you know, when she's with him, she feels, like, just unstoppable, unbreakable. Oh, it's all coming together. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Let's keep going. The next song is called Promise. The promise of you. Okay, um, I'm kind of pissed off right now, I'm not gonna lie. I hate when songs sound so good and they're only a minute long. I was not expecting that to be so short. Um, girl, oh my god, that production on that song alone really carries a lot, okay? That song alone is better than a lot of these, like, girls' discography, okay? When it comes to production, the bitch eats, okay? She always eats. But for some reason, I'm just getting tossed around on this album when it comes to the consistency. We'll talk more about that when I rate this album at the end of my video. But I am obsessed with just the talks of this album. The conversation in this album is very stunning and very telling. But let's keep going. The next song is called Lessons Learned. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, the melodies. Mm. Oh. Girl. Okay, I just want to point something out real quick. The ending of that song, she has these little spouts of productions like here and there, like the intros and the ending, and sometimes in the middle where it's just so breathtaking like and relaxing and beautiful, where it's just production, no vocals, just production. And once again, with what she is talking about, the content of the album, girlfriend, codependent relationships are toxic, okay? Because if you're not right by this person's side most of the day, or if not all day, they get twisted up in their mind, okay? And they just think the worst. So I guess sometimes it can be, you know, cute if it's like, kept to a minimum but sometimes it gets messy but it seems that this person came out of that relationship lessons learned so she learned her lesson um and it's beautiful was she talking about herself and this mm, girl was she like a codependent in a relationship um it gets messy but i'm glad that she learned her lesson okay and Learning your lesson all wraps back around of what I've been saying. Taking these toxic, terrible moments in your life and creating something gorgeous and beautiful out of it. That was beautiful. I loved it. I loved the melodies there, the production. Everything was just good about that song. But let's keep going. The next song is called Black Eagle. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. See, these are the beat switches up that I'm talking about. Mm. The sentiments here on this album, it's so much deeper, like I said, than the last three albums put together, combined into one. The sentiments here are so much deeper, so much more beautiful, and just a lot more heartfelt. I feel them deep, okay? It's like she's comparing herself and these other people that she's connected to, to a black eagle. You know, she explains, you know, the thought process behind what she was giving, what she was supposed to be giving, and it was giving, okay? But she says, beautiful soul, I haven't met a spiritual connection I'll never forget. Your precious life, incredible, sharing his love that was meant for us all. I just think that sentiment is beautiful. I think it's a gag. So kind of like I've been saying throughout this whole album, I am relating to this music. She knows that people are going to relate to this music and she's just extending, like she said at the end of the song, she's extending a hand, a voice, of a reason, okay? And it just comes out so fucking beautiful. She says, I'm singing this love song to show my support to the beautiful people who have been ignored with blind eyes and cold shoulders attacking them and visible people they won't let fit in. This is such a gag, okay? Because there's people that are out there that have these big personalities and people look at them like, Wait. you know, like they just look at them weird and funky like they won't let them fit in. And it's just like, why? Why can't people just be who they want to be? You know, it's just weird. And this coming in 2015, huge, okay? 2015 was the year that gay marriage was legalized. So it's not just about, you know, black people and white people. It's also gay people and disabled people and just a bunch of people that are ignored in life. And it's just, it's sad to me. But it was beautiful. Like, she's she's really making these songs a gag for me, okay? Um, but let's keep going. The next song is called Well Traveled. Ooh. easily one of the best songs from this album just because it really wraps up what i've been saying throughout this entire album janet jackson is such a bright person and her mind her personality it's just so fun and happy okay you know who she reminds me of she reminds me of like a good witch like glenda I think her name's Glenda from The Wizard of Oz. But she has a freaky side, okay? Um, but this is not freaky at all, okay? She's been everywhere. She's seen so many cultures, so many beautiful things and beautiful people that she can make music like this that br can bring everybody together, bring lots of people together. And it's, it's, it's very satisfying to listen to. So deep into her career, Oh, I just, I get the chills when I just think about it. She's like, mother. But at the end of this song, she says, Tripping around the world, destination unknown. Gotta keep moving until I'm gone. To find the place I never want to arrive. Because if I ever reach there, there's no place left to go. She's talking about, once again, her death. Okay, she's talked about it in this video before. She's more aware of things, it feels like, in this album. And... 
it's it's so spiritual this is very a, a real spiritual album it just hits an places okay that production was also sick too it's kind of giving me like country a little bit okay like cowboy hey girl a cowgirl okay <laughs> hey girl and the melodies as well i know i keep bringing it up but like she knows how to eat a melody okay um but let's keep going the last song on this album is called gone be all right let's go you better tell them now Okay. <laughs> Where my cousin? Her. Give it up, Janet Jackson. That was beautiful, okay? What in the world? After speaking of all this spiritual and moving things throughout this entire album, that was a perfect way to end an album. We're gonna be all right. We'll be all right. You'll be all right. It takes time, um, but at the end, and if you can make it through, you will be absolutely all right. I think that was amazing amazing you know it really felt like credits to a movie what i can really what i really got from it was the end of the movie grease i'm really gagged okay so a beautiful outro for this album absolutely absolutely okay now let's get into my overall review my top five and my rating of this album <laughs> So one word for this album would be growth, okay? Um, I've said it a million times, but Janet Jackson has talked about a lot of things. And this album felt more about herself more than um, like outside problems. But with that being in herself, she also made it relatable for outside people. You know, almost 10 years after her last album, I think that the growth really shows for sure that nine years that she took off was very um, moving for her mind and her brain set and just the way she was creating music. OK, and it just spills all throughout this album. And it's it's an obsession. And for people that like music like this, especially me, um, where it just it, it's a relatable feeling is so good okay so that part of the album really got me okay i was really into it for that but i don't think that this is janet's best album whatsoever but i can see where she was going with it and i feel like there was a few missteps here and there but overall i think it's a pretty good album okay now let's get into my rating of this album i get my ratings from these five categories on an album vocals production consistency writing and the album cover itself now the first category is the vocals okay this album was a huge step up from the last three albums which is crazy but you know i don't take i don't want to take anything away from those albums because I adored those vocals and just the way she sounds. She she has a very bubbly sound to her, so it's it's good. But when she uses those vocals, which she did hear a lot, it really gives me a good feeling, a good vibe. So I'm gonna give the vocals on this album a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like there was a lot of hidden vocals here and there on the album and it just, it was pleasurable, okay? Okay, the next category on this album is production. The production here was, I, I don't think Janet has ever had a bad, badly produced album. I think that it's all a gag, okay? Everything about this shit was a gag. From the s different sounds, the different eras, I was getting a lot of different vibes from this album. 90s, 2000s, 2010s, which is when this album was dropped. 
but nothing really 2015-ish. There was a few things there, but I don't think that that takes away from an album. If it doesn't sound like it was released during that point in time, that's good because the album could be timeless, okay? So overall, I'm going to give this production a 9.5 out of 10. I don't think it's a solid 10 because there were a couple songs that I was just like, girl, what is this? But it is a 9.5 out of 10, which is good. Okay, the next category is the consistency. Now, I, girl, I don't think it was missing the interludes or anything. I just think that there was, it was just a messy layout of an album. The middle part where she was getting real serious and deep was good, okay? And even the end, it was really that beginning that I was just like thrown off by. Um, so I'm going to give this con this album consistency an okay, and it feels very solid for me. It's still a good album. Still, you can listen to it all the way through, but it I've seen better, okay? Okay, now the next category is the writing. The last two, three albums, I gave her writing pretty low scores because there wasn't nothing that was just giving me. It was, those eras were fun, okay? It was just about making fun music and I absolutely loved it. But this album right here, girl, it deserves a 10. I'm gonna give the writing a 10 because it deserves it. Like the content of the album, the everything that she was speaking about, it hits so real for a real person, okay? For a real person that's been through things. And it's just nice. It's just nice to feel that relatableness from music, okay? Okay, so the last category is the album cover itself. Girlfriend, she is eating this album cover up. I don't know how old she is in this picture, but it's giving a timeless face card, girl. She is serving the girl's house down, boots, for real. The face card is unmatched. Janet has been a baddie since the beginning of time and it just shows here she's glowing the hair is eating and just the the like the rings the accessories it really is just a gaggery of a photo my only thing about this album cover is the font the font just really throws me off and it feels it makes it feel a little cheap okay um but it's still a good album cover overall so i'm gonna give this a nine Okay, so if you add up all the categories I just named and divide it by five, you get a total score of nine point out of 10, which is great, okay? It's a great album. It's a feel-good album. It's a very, but it's also emotional, okay? And you can feel it throughout every single song, okay? It's a gag. The only song that just, it should not have been here, I feel like, is that Missy Elliott song. It was just not a gag. I'm not sorry, it just wasn't. Okay, now my top five from Janet Jackson's Unbreakable album is Shoulda Known Better, To Be Loved, Take Me Away, Lessons Learned, and Well Traveled. These are the five songs that stood out to me. I would love to know the five songs that stood out to you. And if that Missy Elliott song is in your top five, reconsider please reconsider please but at the end of the day i don't judge so whatever your top five is period okay we love so that was really fun um it was interesting to see where she was gonna go after these nine years of being mia in the music scene it was a roller coaster of emotions of different thoughts and ideas i i loved it so much so that was a really good album um but next week girl we are going to discipline okay <laughs> okay and i can't wait for that so make sure you guys like and subscribe turn on the notification bell so you know when i upload but i do upload at 12 p.m on fridays if you didn't know now you know and i guess i'll see you there let me know your guys thoughts on this album let me know your guys thoughts on anything that i said or just if you have to add anything add it okay let me know your top five and i guess that's it make sure you guys like and subscribe bye motherfuckers